The Vehicle Identification Number Valuation System has been described as a policy instrument designed to achieve national economic and security interests. The PTML Customs Controller, Mr. Festus Okun, stated this, where in rendering the half-year report of the command in Lagos, noting that trade can only be facilitated by leveraging an automation. Ifunaya Eze reports. PTML is the biggest roll-on, roll-off terminal in Nigeria, handling a sizable number of vehicles imported into the country. Rendering his half-year report, the controller, PTML Customs Command, reveals that collections made so far is 12.3% above what was generated within the corresponding period of 2021. In the first six months of this year, we have generated 117 billion 568 million 218,513 naira. This is against 104,649,202,251 naira generated in the corresponding period of the year 2021. And this is what gives us 12%, 12.3% increase over the year 2021. While acknowledging the concerns of port traders in relation to the introduction of the automated valuation for imported vehicles, the controller maintains that the vehicle identification number valuation policy is impacting trade facilitation strategies and plugging revenue leakages. Talking of trade facilitation, we are talking of transparency, we are talking of uniformity, we are talking of simplification. And how do you, how do you achieve all these things without making use of technology. Trade facilitation is about the application of uh, techniques and technology to improve your operations. And that's what uh, valuation has done. It has brought transparency, it has brought uniformity because it has taken away discretion on the part of valuation officer. He underscores the need for port traders to embrace the current valuation system considering that values are determined through an automated process guided by strict adherence to standard operating procedures. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.